You know, the Bible is more than just cute wall art. In our culture, everyone calls themselves a Christian, and the Bible is viewed as sort of like a, a piece of literature, like poetry. Everyone seems to know a verse here or there. We always hear Bible verses at funerals and weddings. But this isn't just another book. Fully devoted followers of Jesus let God's Word guide their everyday lives. We think it's more than this. We think it's inspired by God. We think it's given by God and that the Bible should be our guide. We've already seen 2 Timothy 3. You've been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood. Paul was writing to Timothy, reminding him that he grew up learning God's Word. And look at what he says about God's Word. They have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes from trusting Christ Jesus. You know, without God's Word, we wouldn't have a pathway to know how to be saved, how to know Jesus, how to be in a relationship with him. God's word makes it clear to us. It's not in some obscure verse hidden away in some obscure book of the Bible. It's all over the Bible from the beginning to the very end. Genesis 3 talks about salvation. Genesis 15 talks about salvation. The entire Old Testament foreshadows Jesus. The New Testament, it's all over the place. The reason that we know that we're saved by faith by trusting in Jesus Christ is because the Bible says it all over the place. So the Bible gives us this kind of wisdom, but Paul goes on in 2 Timothy, he says, all scripture is inspired by God and it's useful to teach us what's true and to make us realize what's wrong in our lives. And it corrects us when we're wrong and teaches us to do what is right. See, we believe the Bible is inspired by God, that God inspired the authors to write what they wrote down. And we also believe it's useful for us. It shows us what's true. It helps us to realize when, when our lives are going down the wrong path. It's great for marriage. It's great for parenting. It's great for finances. It's great for students to know God's word. There's so many principles and truths in God's word. You know, God designed us. He created us. He knows how we're supposed to work. He knows what's best for us, and it's in his word. He tells us all of this stuff in his word. And when we follow it, our lives will be transformed. So let God's word correct you when you're wrong. Let God's word teach you to do what's right. If you're a parent, make sure that you're guiding your kids with God's word. Make sure that you're showing them how to read God's word and how to apply it in their own lives. Make sure you're modeling that for your kids. But there's one more thing Paul says to Timothy about it. He writes, God uses his word to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. The more we read God's word, the more equipped we will be to have a mission and a purpose in our life, something that matters, something that will make an impact on this life and on the life to come. God's word prepares us and equips us for every good work. So let's not just be cultural Christians who hang a pithy verse on our living room walls. Let's be fully devoted followers of Jesus who let God's word guide us in our everyday lives.